Hey, this is Cubic Cuber, and today I'm gonna, I have an unboxing from the Cubicle.us. Okay, so I'm really excited for this unboxing. I have been, this package took a while to come, and I really want to try it. Inside here is one X-Man Volt Square One, a replacement for my, um, uh, my defective uh, cubicle premium magnetic pure rinks and some DNM 37 lube. So all this stuff I've heard is really good. Um, I know the pure rinks is good except for the one layer that was defective. And I'm really, really excited to open this up. So let's get right into it here. I, I, I don't know why I still use scissors. Like they always, it's, it's, they're not really great for this packaging. <laughs> So anyway, I'm getting it open. I'm not, I'm not gonna cut this out, by the way, because here we go. Okay, so here's some DNM 37 Cubicle Labs. That's cool. We've got the X Man Volt. Hang on, am I in frame? Yes, I am. We have the X Man Volt Square One. Um, this looks really nice. I got it in black. We have Pyraminx, and then we have uh, the business card. So I'm going to start with the square one, because, actually, no, no, I'm going to start with the Pyraminx, this is what I'm least excited about, I already kind of have it, but I did order the JR Huber color scheme, um, so let's look at that, oh, this looks nice, I, okay, this feels movie like it was before, oh my gosh, they didn't do the right color scheme, oh, okay, oh well, um, I could have sworn I ordered the JR Cuber color scheme, but maybe I didn't. Um, that's too bad, but I don't really care. It's fine. Same thing. Feels really nice. Uh, Gain. Kind of luby, big gummy, but as I know from the previous one, that is okay with break-in. Tips feel scratchy. That happens all the time with lube. And cubicle premium puzzles, it was like that with the first one. And yeah, so that's cool. I'm just gonna put that off to the side. And let's open the DNM, uh, not the DNM 37, the X Man Volt Square One. So I've tried this at a competition and it's really good. Um, I am actually competing in a competition in about a month. It's the Battle of Waterloo 2017. Um, it's in Waterloo. And I'm going to be competing in Square One. If I don't get parity, then I might make cutoff. Um, I will make cutoff if I don't get parity. Um, I'm if I like I'm actually not terrible at square one, but when I get parity, I don't know parity, so I just have to mess it up and mess it up and um, and start again, and then that takes a while. So let's do some first turns. Oh yeah, this feels. Yep, like I heard, um, tight, and it needs some DM thirty seven. So. This is actually pretty good. Definitely the slice layers are amazing. Uh, they're really good. The top layers are feel a little bit uh, tight, but I kind of like that. Um, oh yeah, yes, this, this needs to be loosened because there's like no corner cutting. But yes, I've heard that this does need some setup, so I will do that. And that's perfect because it does feel a little sluggish. And we will need to, uh, sorry. <laughs> need to use some DNM 37 which also came in this order so let's unbox that now. So here it is. Um, I'm sorry if this is getting a bit cluttered. Um, I'm just going to try to push stuff out of the way. So here's the DNM 37. It looks really nice. It's got the instructions. Um, let me focus on this. I don't know if you can read those or if the lighting's not good enough. But it says um Instructions, put two drops in puzzle, break in, buckle up, because things are about to get fast. So, hang on, let me put this back here. Focus. And so, yeah, that looks really neat. Um, I've tried this on my GAN 356S version 2. It was very sluggish. I put some DNM in it, and it was amazing. So I was actually, um, so I have experience with this lube. It makes everything, whoops, okay, sorry, I just kicked something. Um, it makes everything much faster. And it definitely helps your puzzles a lot. I recommend this lube. Um, and let's open it up. 
And let's just put a few drops in the square one because maybe that can speed things up a little because it is pretty slow. Um, jeez, this is, this is really tight. Like, I'm guessing I'm just going to put some in there. One, two. Okay, two drops. Let's break it in a bit. And the effect is instant. You can see I'm turning faster, faster, smoother. Let's put some here. And definitely helping. Let's do it to the other side. Hope I'm not over moving this. And I just managed to put that on the side. It'll, it'll still work. So yes, I will need to loosen this. Definitely, and now the lube's getting all over the place. I'm gonna go, um, actually grab a, a napkin. I'll be right back, because my hands are all covered in lube now. Okay, so I washed my hands off. And this feels really good, honestly. It just, it feels like it needs to be loosened. Like, like, now. Like, this needs instant lubing. So, I mean, not lubing, um, loosening. So I'm going to go do that, and I'll be back in a little bit. Okay, so, um, I can't, the, the tensioning isn't going, like, it's, it's, I don't really know, like, I know the screws are in the strip, or the, the, the middle layer, but, like, it's, I don't know, it's just not, the caps are, I feel like they're on too tight, and I don't want to break it when I just got it, so... I'm just gonna wait. It's actually okay, but it's it's kind of annoying. So anyway, here's a true test of the DNM37. This Chi Chi Hang Skew. It's really slow. So let's give it a go. Cause I I want to see if anything can speed this up. So I just put two drops in. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! This is fast. <laughs> oh man. This feels really amazing. Almost, almost uncontrollable. This is, my gosh. Never gonna have to turn hard again, which is usually what made this skew pop. Oh my gosh. Okay, people, if you have not already, buy DNM37. It is amazing. Just do it right now, okay? Like, you have to. This is so good. It's unbelievable. Okay, wow. I'm amazed. Buy DM37. Buy the cubicle Moyu Pure Minx if you do not if you have not already because it's really good. And also buy the X-Men Volt Square One if you're if you don't mind. Like cause because I find with the X-Men Volt is that the um the slice layer turns faster than the UND layers. Maybe that's a thing with all square ones. I don't really know. I don't think so. But I will fool around with that square one. I will see what happens. And yeah. So bye. Please like, subscribe, comment questions. And um, yeah, have a great day. Bye. Okay, so um, I'm actually back. And I've decided to just do a little afterthought part of this video. And that's just after breaking it in a little. And so... Um, there's a square over there. The X-Men Volt Square One. I, my, me and my mom went out to a place and I took it with me and I practiced and broke it in a lot. Um, so, yeah, that's that was really nice. And then I tried some DNM37, this amazing lube that you have to get. I tried it out on some other cubes. So, my Maying. I tried it on my mating and it made it quieter and a bit smoother and more stable and faster and this mating is now well on its way to being my main. Um, only problem is it's still slightly unstable but I really like it nonetheless and you can hear the sound difference. If you go watch my uh, mating uh, main review, um, I put it up to the mic and you can listen to it and I will do the same thing now and you can hear the sound difference maybe. Um, I might put, I mean, uh, I might put a thing on the screen with my other 
my previous video, so yeah. Here we go. Okay, so yeah, that's it. Um, so yeah, after breaking it in, I did put some DNM37 in this, like I showed you at the beginning of the video. And it is now, because it started out pretty dry, so I advise you buy some lube with this if you're getting it. Um, because that does help it a lot, and it makes it a bit more smooth. And Because uh, it just feels very dry at the beginning, and this helps it, and breaking it in is also very good. But I do find this does need a little bit of setup. I still haven't t tensioned it. Um, because I feel like the caps are glued on. Like, right here, you can take this one off fine. But this one, I feel like you can't get off. So, I don't really know what that is. Um, maybe you can, and I'm just being a chicken to take it off. But, it's still pretty fine. Um, the top and bottom layers, the UND layers, are definitely a little bit slower. Actually, a lot slower than the slice layer. But, that's fine. I don't really care. And, um, yeah. It's definitely a very good score one. I can see why a lot of people use this as their mains. And it's definitely an improvement over the Chi, because I've tried the Chi, and it's definitely better. The um, Moe Pure Minx, again, they didn't get the right color scheme. I did ask for the Jira Cuber color scheme, and I just got the normal Fulbright set. I think it's Fulbright, maybe half right. And I don't know why that happened, but it did. I don't really care. Um, this does happen occasionally with the cubicle. Um, like you find their, that sort of thing with the stuff isn't amazing, but their puzzles are incredible and their cubicle apps and stuff and cubicle Photoshop are very good, which is definitely a very good thing. But occasionally, then things do slip past quality control. But um, it, they're, they're good in the cubicle, definitely was way over the bad because the bad's barely anything so yeah so um yeah dnm 37 um i'm just going to do a quick overview of all of them dnm 37 amazing lube you have to get it speeds up your puzzles even makes it a bit more controllable uh pure minx, just an amazing pure minx overall well lubed everything tips are great no defects this time and it's very good uh x-man volt square one Really amazing square one. Loads, loads, loads better than Chi. Amazing. And, uh, Maying lubed with the M37. Incredible. Very good. If you're gonna buy DNM 37 you can probably buy a Maying with it and put three drops in the Maying and it becomes a uh, really, really, really good for you, So, yeah. Thanks for watching. Bye. Please subscribe. Like. I already said this stuff before, so... Yeah, bye. Have a great day.